everybody this is not a crypto expert chiming in with another video and in this video I am following up with the install of the, the uh, ledger live software to a Apple computer um, so I'm going to assume that you've already watched that you've already got the software installed directly from the ledger website and uh, what we're gonna do now is go over to the software and we are going to set this up as though this is a is a way we're initializing a new device. So, and this is the uh, Ledger Live software. So, I'm going to click initialize the new Ledger device. And this is going to take you some time because you're going to have to set a pin as well as write something down. Uh, right here, you would just select if you've got the Nano S or the blue. I have the S press continue alright so you are going to plug in your nano ledger device to your USB port and then make sure that you've got the cord that's coming from the USB port plugged into the whichever device that you have uh, the light should come on and it should prompt you to initialize a new device I personally press both buttons to confirm uh, my choices unless there is an X on one side or a, a good check mark on the other then I just use the corresponding button um, make sure that the pin is not easy for someone to guess that knows you and make sure that you write down the the uh, 24 word recovery phrase is actually gonna make you confirm that uh, that by inputting or selecting the words twice so this is really gonna take you about five to ten minutes uh, there's no point in rushing after you've done that press continue save the recovery phase take a picture of it uh, write it down give it to a loved one you know whatever you need to do just to make sure that you've got I personally did two backups after you've done that press continue all right now there were some people that got uh, they basically got got uh, they bought some devices I don't I'm not sure if it was a nano device but there were some uh, I believe that they were buying them off of eBay and if I'm not correct I apologize eBay but they were buying devices um, wallets from online and they weren't directly from the source of the other company that manufactured them and the devices already had uh, a pin and a security key or yeah the, the recovery uh, words already printed out for the people that had them so they were already set up and the person that uh, sent them out and sold them was the person that well I, I'm not gonna say that um, someone beyond the the person that purchased it had access to the device too so uh, there were quite a few people whose funds were stolen because the device was already set up and shipped to someone and, and the person that bought it thought that it was a new device so if you didn't set up the pin code yourself you need to reset that device uh, so I'm gonna press yes did you save your recovery phrase uh, phrase by yourself once again yes is your ledger device genuine that's a great question all right so this was not I don't remember seeing this on the Chrome apps so this is a nice addition kind of going ahead and press check now all right connect and unlock your ledger device so let me type in my pin And I just unlocked it going back all right so I am now clicking the uh, the button on the right side because I've got a uh, check mark on that side to allow the ledger manager to connect all right so that's good that I've got a genuine device even though my device did come with a hair in the box and a few grease stains but that's another story I'm gonna press continue all right, now this password is for the software on the machine itself. Um, I set one earlier and 
I guess I'll go on ahead and I'll, I'll also do it now and I will show you how to uh, how to remove this if you want to take this off All right, so after you set the password let's continue I don't know how you feel about uh, companies asking for data the fact that they're asking the school they're not just taking it um, however I don't like to give people any data uh, I've already purchased the product there's no point you're not paying me to send you data so I'm gonna turn that off continue my device is ready got some confetti coming down I'm going ahead and open up the uh, ledger live As soon as I open it up, a disclaimer comes up. Before sending and receiving crypto as assets, educate yourself to make informed decisions. Crypto assets are volatile and the prices can go up and down. Carefully evaluate your trading goals and the financial risk you are willing to take. Please be aware that the ledger does not provide financial, tax, or legal advice. Excuse me, not the ledger, that, that ledger does not provide financial, tax, or legal advice. You should take such decisions on your own or consult with reliable experts. So as I always say, I, I'm only investing my vice money. Um, this is their way of kind of clearing themselves. That, hey, this is nothing more than a piece of hardware uh, to do what you're going to do anyway. And that's it. We got it. All right. So at this point, uh, the software is now opened up. The ledger is connected to, or excuse me, my Nano S is connected to the software. So I think I'm going to end this video right here. I'm going to show you next how to remove the uh, the password that I just set from the software, and I'll also show you what it is. Um, and then I'm also going to show you just kind of you what's in the user interface for. Uh, the device so with that being said folks i hope that you have a great day a great morning a great evening